Hi, in this video, I'm gonna show you what's new inside Create Studio Pro. So in our latest release, we've added the ability to use track mats with your media uh, to create some really cool effects. And I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can use these uh, in your projects. And we're also gonna release a more advanced tutorial showing you all the different kinds of ways you can use track mats with your footage uh, to create some cool effects. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete all this media. And the first thing I want to show you is if you go ahead and grab any PNG, let's say you've got a logo. Um, I've got one over here, which is a PNG image. And usually, you know, if you wanted to create a mask, you would have to use a shape layer to mask certain elements, or you could use text as well. But now if you've got a logo, for example, you can go ahead and use the track mats feature to go ahead and mask your logo with media. So if I go and grab a video like clip like this, for example, drag it on the canvas. I've got my video clip here, I've got my logo here. I might just place it underneath so I can see the logo better, like this. And what you do is simply select the video footage, and if you scroll over here to track mats, you can go ahead and drag this down as well if you can't see it. If you scroll down to track mats, and then simply with the video selected, click on mask, and then select the logo or the image that you're using. And you'll be able to see now we've got this video playing inside of the logo like so. And because it's got a gradient and the ma the mat that we're using in this first example is a Luma one, it's playing, it's showing part of the video and then because it's got a gradient, it's kind of like hiding it like that. But if you go over here to Alpha, you have to see now that it plays the entire video super clear inside your image. And you can use this also with characters, with any kind of image you like. So let's say for example, you, you wanted to go ahead and grab a character and maybe use him as the mat. So what I could do now is just turn this mat into the cool guy, like this, and just delete this like this. And you'll be able to see now that the video is playing inside the character. So you can use this feature in really creative ways. And yeah, you can go ahead and play around with the footage. You can also go ahead and you know adjust it as well like this. And yeah, create some really cool track mats. So I'm gonna also show you how you can go ahead and create some track mat transitions. So let's say, for example, we've got this footage here. Just drag it on. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a circle shape and just place the circle over here. And I'm going to zoom into the timeline, just click and drag. And what I want to do is actually reveal this footage as the circle animates on. So I'm going to go ahead and click on S and P to create the position and scale animations. I'm going to select this N keyframe, drag it over here into the center and also scale it up like this. And you can see we've got this scale position animation like that. But instead of the circle being seen, I wanna reveal this, uh, this video clip. So what I could do, I'm gonna position it off slightly so that it starts. Let's actually bring it over like this. What I'm gonna do now is just simply select this video clip, go over to track mats, select the circle and turn on the alpha channel and you'll be able to see now that we've got this nice reveal like so and whatever color you've got in the background will be seen so if you, you could have also have your other footage playing behind this and then create this transition you can see I've got a really nice transition like so and the last thing I want to quickly show you is how you can go ahead and use text uh, with your footage to reveal the text, uh, the video inside the text. So if you go ahead and add your text there, let's say track, and that's like so. And I'll just scale this one up. Just bring that like so in the center. Okay, I've got my text here. And what I wanna do is add a position animation so that it slides in like so. And we can, we can also go ahead and just, let's make it income in by word, and just have a slightly less uh, word offset like that and now what we can do is just actually we'll play this video clip like this for about one second or maybe even about two seconds so we've got the video playing and then we want the text to come in and as the text comes in we want this video to then play inside this text so what we could do is simply select the video go to track mat and we're going to go ahead and first actually we're going to go ahead and create a shape like so bring this text up like this, the shape like so. 
We're going to create a fade animation on this shape so that it fades in. And as it fades in, the text is then going to go ahead and uh, show this video, okay? So with this one, what we need to do is basically select the shape, this, this kind of background, and go to track mat, select the text, track mats, and then go ahead to alpha and invert it. And you're about to see now that we've got this cool effect where we've got the video playing, the shape kind of fades in, and then the text reveals the video underneath like that. So these are some ways that you can go ahead and use the track mats. Um, make sure to go ahead and play around with it. And as I said, we're going to be releasing a more advanced tutorial showing you how you can use these in your footage. And one other feature we've also added in inside the app is the ability to hide and show layers. So let's say, for example, you've got an image like this. You can go ahead and right click on it, hide layer, and you'll have to see now it's hidden on the actual canvas as well. You can still see on the timeline, so you can go ahead and show it if you like. And this is just helpful, you know, if you're creating a video and you're not sure if you really want to use a certain element in your video when you export it, you can go ahead and hide it. Uh, and, you know, if you do decide you want to use it again, you can go ahead and show it like so. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this new release. Uh, make sure to download the latest version to see these features added in your account. And if you're enjoying Create Studio, we'd love it if you could leave us a review on Trustpilot or on Facebook. Uh, that would really help us in our business. And, yeah, as always, have fun creating.